Okay, well, I guess since I got version 4.1 out with the library finally, uh, I decided to change gears a little bit, work on something else. Uh, if you use your Cocoa remotely, you might like this. It is a display server, uh, in many ways sort of like an X server in Unix. Um, basically, we use the end devices to act as windows uh, inside OS 9 and then we take their uh, all the commands that go to those windows and display them out on your main PC and that can be you know plugged into your PC or it can be across the world over the internet it doesn't matter so uh, probably easiest to just uh, show you here so we'll uh, start up uh, Nitrous 9 and I've got uh, in my startup, I'll show you. that's why a window just opened back there. We've just got regular old window commands going into N5 here, which kicks off that window. So there's an OS9 window here, and it's uh, yeah, pretty much a typical thing. Works nicer than Telnet in a lot of ways. Uh, you've got you know arrow keys that work. Um, you've got uh, I'll show you the uh, screen control actually works, which is uh, pretty much impossible to do in a terminal emulator. Um, I mean, they work just like uh, regular Windows uh, in OS 9, so if you know the commands there, change the foreground color to, uh, I don't know, white. And now we got white. And and all, I've implemented almost all of them, even the drawing commands and stuff like that, they're in here. Um, uh, whatever. So, oh yeah. You can create new windows, uh, just normally, naturally, the same way you would if you were using windows there on Nitrous 9's console. I'll create a 40 column window here, uh, I don't know. Pipe it into any free device. Oh, there's a new window. Opens up here. And I guess we can start a shell on that. And eh, not the best colors in the world. But uh, there's a 40 column window. And uh, just like a uh, console, you can change that on the fly. I, Get. I've got some scripts just to change certain things. Uh, what else can you do with this? Uh, always got the uh, test of any graphics library is can you play Rogue on it? So, yes, we can play Rogue. that and uh, full screen text editors are nice right so sled works oh. if you're in the right execution directory it works hey, full screen text editor in a window yeah some I've been wanting to have for a long time. Uh, so it was annoying that the uh, telnet sessions didn't work quite right. So well, that's nice to have. Oh, um, well, get out of here. There's a. Uh, there's also copy and paste. So. Eh. If you want to paste in big log strings of things, you can. Copy's a little weird for now. I'm still sorting out how to do that quite right. Selection isn't something that OS9 really knows about, so you have to kind of do it out of band. Oh, oh yeah, you can do overlay windows. You know, uh, let's go to Ubox 3 is the only thing I know that actually uses them. But uh, when you hit quit, there's an overlay window that pops up on top, so those work. Um, 
well, in most programs that use graphics will work as well. I'll show you this one. He's nicer with Framescape on. But, uh, yeah, you can run anything that uses standard window calls, uh, which includes writing bits to buffers and displaying buffers and different graphics modes. Um, so you're not limited at all to text like you would be in Telnet. Uh, still some things to work out there. A lot of programs that really should work don't. They're looking for something out of the device descriptor that I haven't quite made happy. Like there's, you know, image viewers and things like that. Ultimately, eventually, you should be able to run multi-view. Uh, shouldn't be any reason why you couldn't. So, um, uh, you can definitely do some graphical type stuff. I don't know what this program is really all about. Just some little guy walks around. But it works. Um, what else can you do with this thing? Eh, that's probably about it. There's one program that works pretty well. Stones. Yeah. What do you gotta go to? Uh oh. I've been trying a lot of different things to see what works and what doesn't. So this one does pretty nice graphics. Uh, I don't really know how you play it, but you can see it's drawing the buffer on there. And well, a little more than telling that, I guess. So I guess that is pretty much what it's doing here. Um, like I say you can have as many of these windows as you want, and uh, they work like regular OS 9 windows. So that'll be coming soon. Uh, Got to sort some things out with it, little things, but looks like it's gonna work fine. So there you go.